Jeremy big enough, lol. Ah! Hey guys, what's up? It's Lauren and welcome back to my channel. So it's been a hot minute since I've done um, kind of like a juicy Q&A. So I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions you feel like I may be avoiding. Not to say that there are questions that I'm avoiding because like realistically on the podcast, uh, Wild Till 9, I feel like there's little to no filter. So a lot of these topics we have touched on. Go check out the podcast if you have not already. I will say it's um not for all ages. So I realized that some of my viewers on the main channel may not have listened to the podcast and therefore you have some questions you feel like I haven't answered. And while I answer those questions, I basically have been meaning to paint these Air Force One high tops forever. I just got a set of acrylic leather paints that are specifically made for painting on um, fabrics like like sneakers and I'm super excited because um, the sneaker game is very expensive and I spend a lot of time looking at sneakers that I cannot afford. So without further ado, I'm going to start removing the laces. Uh, we'll start mixing up some colors. I'm like gonna go for I think like a tan and pink vibe. Also yes, I'm very aware that I have small little baby feet. These are either a five and a half women's or a, no, 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 they're a size four from the boy section. <laughs> But honestly, not mad at getting my sneakers a little bit cheaper than the adult section. So let's get started. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, um, Halloween is coming up super soon. So let me know in the comments if there are any specific costumes that you would like to see DIY. I feel like if I was a better YouTuber, I would have organized these a little better so that we save the juiciest for uh, the very end. You know, trying to get that watch time, baby. But uh, I just screenshotted a bunch of them. And a lot of these are like very straightforward questions. And uh, we're not gonna waste any time beating around the bush, so let's just go. First question, have you ever had to take plan B? I have not. Surprisingly, I've never, I, I don't know why I said surprisingly, oh my god. <laughs> I've never had a pregnancy scare and therefore have never had to take plan B. Is it weird living in the same house you initially bought with your ex with your current? Hmm, where shall we start here? Well, I'm going to not make eye contact with any of you right now as I undo these shoes because I feel like it's much easier to be more candid when we don't have to make eye contact. <laughs> but no, not at all. Like literally not at all. My ex never moved in and I lived here by myself for a year. And when I packed up his stuff when we broke up, it took me about six minutes total because he didn't have anything here. Probably a sign of commitment issues that I should have noticed earlier. <laughs> Literally no shade, Alex and I are totally cool, but like, did I have a little dumb bitchitis? Probably. <laughs> There was never really a transition period uh, that was awkward or weird from like our home to my home because it's kind of always just been my home. When we broke up, I legitimately had like my best friends come over like thinking that it'd be like such a traumatic process of like packing up all his shit to like give back after a breakup. Like I feel like in the movies, you feel like that's such a traumatic moment of the breakup. And so they came over and we were like ready, prepped, and uh, it took literally all of seven minutes and we were like, Cool, cool. Like not a tear shed and it was just like very, very quick. <laughs> okay, laces are removed. I feel like I should probably tape these up, but like I don't really want to. I pulled out like all of my tiniest, tiniest precision brushes because I'm not going to tape these up and might just do a little YOLOing. What characteristics about your relationship with Jeremy makes you confident that this will last? A lot of marriage questions, a lot of proposal, engagement, and marriage questions from you guys. We'll get into it. But uh, I think just as like a blanket statement, I feel like when uh, I'm in a relationship, if things are going well, obviously I would like to be married in the future when it's the right time. And things are totally going really well right now, but we're just like not at that stage yet, I don't think. If things continue to go as well as they are going right now, then yes, I would say more likely than not if our consistency of happiness stays on the same trajectory. <laughs> but I think uh, communication and just being on the same page is probably like the top two things. I would say 
communication is number one and that's something that I've not always had in past relationships. Just the ability to problem solve and find middle ground and learn how to compromise. And I just feel like the foundation of our relationship is really strong and I think when the foundation is strong you can kind of get through anything. Not to say that if things go like buck wild in the next six months then you know things could change. But on the positive happy trajectory that we are on currently, things are going well. <laughs> also this style, like the high top, is my new favorite shoe. I feel like I'm so over the low top. It's still very cute. Have four pairs of them, but I'm such a high top girl and I love these. Ooh, spicy question. How many guys have you been with? I have been with five people. I don't know if I've ever said that anywhere. Five people. I don't know if that's low or high. I don't think it matters. I think it's totally personal. I feel fine about that. Okay, based on the other sneaker inspo photos I'm looking at, we don't paint this little guy here and we just paint the tiny little swoosh on the side of it. So then maybe I should take this part up since it's gonna flop over parts that we do have to paint. Okay, stand by, I'm gonna get some painter's tape. Okay, but like, do you actually regret being Lord DIY? And so niche, channel name change. Actually not at all. Like I know a lot of people who started their YouTube channels at a really young age. Like for example, like when Bethany Moda was Mac Barbie 07 and Alicia was Mac Baby 11, like the OG names, I really don't mind. I'm kind of only good at DIYs. <laughs> like crafting or creative problem solving in any light, I feel like is what I'm best at. And and I think it's been a really fun challenge to continue to find ways to like make content that makes me excited, makes you guys excited, but like I'm good at, <laughs> if that makes sense. So even videos like these, or like in last week's video, uh, the Age My Space series, just like flipping a lot of nooks and crannies of my house in a very like DIY budget and format. And so I just like am always kind of crafting, like even if I wasn't filming this video, I would absolutely just watch Netflix and be painting my sneakers. I think also as a follow up to like a channel name change, my last name is like kind of crazy looking. Shout out to my fins, it's finished. But Lauren Riamaki doesn't quite roll off the tongue the way Lord DIY does. So honestly, like there's not like a bone in my body that is like, I need to be somebody else. Okay, so it's time to mix some paint. So here's the game plan. I'm thinking like tan, to do this panel and the heel panel, peach to go here around the laces, and then a pink to do the swoosh. How do we feel about that? Super wish that I could have like live audience reaction currently, but that's the plan. So I have this very professional paint palette here, this Tupperware container. Oh, interesting. Not the applicator that I thought it was gonna come. Did I even think there was gonna be an applicator? It smells like chemicals. Oh my god, is that a lot? I feel like that's a lot. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and we'll do a little bit of brown. Oh, was that a lot? I don't know. Oh my god. I have no idea what I'm doing. The panic. Way too much brown. This is just brown. People who have painted sneakers before are like, bitch, what are you doing? This is really not the color that I'm going for here. Like, not even close. I thought I knew how to make like a tan color, but apparently not. Oh my god, I'm a mess. I am a mess. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> I had a really great tan going and it was a little grayish. So I was like, oh, let's warm it up a little bit. I'll add a tiny bit of yellow. I literally made the color of baby poo. Like this is baby poo right here. Ugh, I'm wasting so much paint. Okay, so I did mostly white and then added literally just a paintbrush worth of brown and it was perfect. Cause I don't want it to be brown. I want it to be like tan. Like I'm a big fan of the Air Jordan 1's mid Milans. They're like a really cute peachy tan nude colorway. They're honestly so hard to find in my size and when they are available in my size, they're crazy expensive. I've just given up on uh, the idea that I'll ever have those. So I think we'll just make our own. The true DIY that I am. Okay, while we're doing this, um, cause it is a little mindless, I feel like I've used my brain to maximum capacity at this point. Let's answer the next question. This is actually a really common question that I feel like we've thought about addressing a bunch of times or just like even on the vlog channel or on the podcast. Why are you suddenly so comfortable having a very public relationship again? The main thing to note here is that I have just redefined what a public relationship is and feels like and entails. I think before, 
for me, a public relationship was vlogging every day, clickbait titles, like doing things for the vlog. Like not necessarily like fake emotions or anything, but like doing activities for the vlog. I feel like anything that you put on the internet that is every day is not healthy, no matter if you're in a relationship or not. So I think that's kind of like the portion of publicness that I won't ever do again. And obviously Jeremy has been on the channel once or twice and he pops up here and there in the vlogs. And with the podcast, obviously we talk about very intimate uh, topics and subjects on the podcast, but it's really just talking about our experiences and our opinions and like definitely some of our shared experiences, but it's a lot about our mindsets on how we view things and our different perspectives. So it feels less intrusive because we're controlling the narrative and it's not like a cut down of 10 minutes of of a recap of our day. I don't know, that's like the best that I can explain it. So I think it's just the definition of a public relationship. It's like, yes, people know who my boyfriend is and they know about his past and how he grew up and how he views things and his humor. But it's much less about making a fairy tale of our relationship, if that makes sense. I don't know, maybe I'm doing a bad job explaining this. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm happy with this color. I'm scared to make it any darker, but I think we just start. I think we just go for it, right? We just, we just dive in. <sighs> okay. Next step, I'm going with some acetone to remove the like top coat that's just on the shoe from like the factory make. Next question is how much money do you make with your craft lime products? This might be surprising to a lot of people, but basically next to nothing. When we did the Target craft kits, when we had uh, the paint line that had stencils and sponges and brushes and uh, like all of those different SKUs, I actually might've made negative money at the end of the day after everything was done and that like contract finished, I literally may have made negative money. So when any YouTuber sells merch, if they have um, a good slash regular standard deal, they take home 80% of uh, the revenue. Licensing, you make anywhere from seven to 11% and a lot of the time there's a lot more work involved. It was definitely a passion project and something that I really wanted to, you know, create. And so it was something that was like definitely fun and so worth it, learning experience for sure. It's not something that you do because you are trying to pay off your mortgage. All right, we are prepped and primed. This is a pretty light color, so I feel like from the YouTube tutorials that I've watched, I'll have to do like a solid three or four coats and contact. Okay, next question. How do you feel about Jeremy once being engaged? Um, hello, if you do not have the internet and have spent time stalking my boyfriend Jeremy, you may not know that he has been previously engaged in obviously a different relationship. And honestly, I genuinely think that someone's past should not affect your future together. Obviously there are limitations to that, but I'm not gonna hold his past against him in any way or like feel some type of way about it because it was a different relationship. I don't know, I just feel like there's no reason for me to hold any kind of like resentment or anger or jealousy or like, any kind of negative feeling that could potentially be associated with that. I think it's an interesting topic that we're definitely gonna cover on the pod, but it's a part of his past and maybe practice for the future. Who knows? <laughs> Ooh, she gonna be cute once we have more than one coat. I'm gonna do this front panel and then we'll be back. Oh my God, you guys, I have literally been sitting here for another hour and a half painting. I am having the most regrets on this tan slash brown color. I almost wanted to slap some brown on it and call it a day because I've probably painted six coats of the brown. So I was like, okay, is this a me thing? Is it a like color thing? Like what's going on? Is it a paint thing? And then I painted the swoosh pink with one coat and it looks amazing and you can barely see brush strokes. Like it'll probably need two coats, maybe three. And then I started mixing together like a peachy pink color for around uh, where the laces get laced up and I really like the color scheme, but this brown, is killing me. Okay, so here's where we're at right now. Peachy pink color, one coat. Pink swoosh, one coat. And brown, 45 coats. We are progressing, but I am getting frustrated. Here I was thinking that I was filming like an easy video. Anyways, um, while I fix my attitude, let's answer another question. How long did you wait till you and Jer did the deed? Fourth date, I was down on the third though. <laughs> 
when do you and Jeremy plan on getting married slash having kids? I would like to have kids before 32. I'm 27 right now, so within the next five years, I'd say probably closer to uh, between the 30 to 31 to 32 to maybe 33 area. I genuinely don't think that I'll have kids before 30. I'm just so far from that right now that I don't think that that's in my near future. When do you plan on getting married? I feel like within the next five years as well. <laughs> I don't know. I would say that marriage is definitely closer on the horizon than babies is, but um, all TBD. Let's paint a swoosh because this makes my heart happy because of how nice and opaque it goes on. Okay, so next question is, would you change your last name when you get married? Absolutely. Lauren Lewis is in alliteration and sounds amazing. You know, Rhea Mackey is really tough for everyone to say. I know this is a struggle and I'm totally aware. So it's nothing to do with like wanting to erase any of my heritage or ethnicity or where I come from. It literally is just a convenience thing for like my future children to not have to struggle through their life like I did mine of people just referring to me as Lauren R my entire life. I also just feel like to my core, I'm just Lord DIY now to like most of my friends anyways. Ooh, here's the tea. Gabby, Hannah, and Jeremy, rumor or real thing? So I feel like to fully understand this question, you need to know the rumor first was that they had a thing. Rumor is false. They did not have a thing. So Jeremy used to work in the music industry and basically distributed music for all of the independent artists that were also YouTubers and like also other actual artists like Frank Ocean and stuff use their platform, but he distributed music for um, Gabby, for Tana, for Jake Paul at one point as well. So they were friends and also worked together. And obviously as friends do, uh, they have photos together and I feel like people really ran with that one. There's also a photo of Tana and Jeremy together at like Jeremy's office and people really love to run with that one as well. So let's squash it right now, rumor. False. Have you ever faked an orgasm? Yes. Next question. <laughs> honest answer, are you getting impatient for Jeremy to propose? Uh, the answer is no, definitely not. Like, I know we joke a lot about um, anytime we do a brand deal on the podcast, it's like for my engagement ring fund. That's just like an ongoing joke and it's not something that's like serious in the slightest. Like, okay, no, that's not true. Maybe it's like 1% serious, 5% serious tops, but it's definitely not something that I'm sitting here like tapping my watch being like, hello, you're late, when is this going to happen? I feel like engagement is not something that you A, have to to rush. We're super happy with where we are now and I think we're in a good spot and I feel like when we both feel ready to take that next step, it'll happen organically and there's not like a crazy timeline or anything that I feel the need to stick to or adhere to or feel like I'm behind in any way. So answer is no. I wish you could see what I see because like right now you can just see like the dark outline of the threads because the threads doing a great job of receiving the paint. The leather, not so much. All right, be right back. You guys, I'm about to make a controversial decision. I feel like I'm gonna take it all off and do black. <laughs> I have been sitting here painting coat on coat on coat of this brown, and it's just not doing it for me. So that's where we're at right now. Just wanted to give you an update. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see. I feel like it's gonna be amazing and we're gonna be stoked. It's the best. It's literally the best. <laughs> Just so many hours of work that I didn't have to do earlier had we just committed to the black. It looks so good. It goes on just like so opaque and so nice. <sighs> okay, what's the next question? What happened with the Asian girl squad? Honestly, I don't even know what this question is referring to. Literally, I feel like the four of us are closer now than we have ever been, which has been so incredible. I don't know, I just feel like our friendship through quarantine, because we were all really relying on each other for just like sanity and staying connected, especially at the very beginning of quarantine, when we were like literally not seeing anyone. We all just got so much closer and it's been so nice. I feel like maybe we've been hanging out offline more than I realized. And maybe that was like the inspiration for this question because like we don't publicize or to like take photos whenever we hang out. But I feel like those are the best hangouts when you don't take any photos and you just like totally forget and you're in the moment. It's been so good. And I feel like our friendship is healthier than ever. And Asian Girl Squad is thriving. Wow, this black looks so good. Wow, you guys. Oh my God, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good, I'm excited. Maybe I kind of hate the, the salmon color now and I might just make that like pink pink. So we'll do pink pink and black. 
wow, we've really done a total 180 here. And I think uh, we'll just end on this banger of a question. Is Jeremy big enough? LOL. <laughs> yes. I feel like that's probably a good place to uh, to uh, wrap up our question. So hopefully you came for the tea, but you'll stay for the reveal because I have spent way too much time having decision-making paralysis, but I'm excited to see the final outcome. So without further ado, we're a mess right now, but introducing, and I haven't finished obviously, so hopefully there is a next shot of them looking good, my custom Air Force One high tops. today I hope you guys enjoyed it um, leave me some questions in the comments if you feel like there's one that I really didn't answer to be honest if there's a question that you feel like is a little risque I'd encourage you to go listen to the podcast because we've probably talked about it in too much detail over on wild till nine anyways hope you guys enjoyed it I will see you on Tuesday for a new episode of the pod and then again on Sunday for another Sunday okay bye guys love you Pretty little kingdom out here running the street.